only public hearing item we have tabled from the last regular session meeting. Um, it's rezoning REZ 2022-07, the Haydens Park, Camelot Crossing, and Vildell Road. It's 149 acres from R1 to CG, PD, and R10. Uh, Mr. Diller. Thank you, Mr. Vice Chairman. Again, Commissioners, this was the request that was tabled uh, by the opposition in order for their concerns to be heard by the Commissioners and in order for staff to reach out to GDOT. Staff has done so. Uh, Mr. McLeod has more details on that. But from our understanding, GDOT will require a traffic impact analysis on Camelot Crossing in North Valdosta, uh, regardless of the rezoning for this particular case. Other than that, opposition did want to note that the commercial zoning on Valdell was a concern, and then ingress and egress to the entire parcel um, was the main concerns we heard. So. Is that, um, when we tabled this last week, we tabled it to gather additional information. Is that the additional information, period? Yes, sir. The, the, com the commissioners gave uh, the opposition time to gather up any of their concerns and present them to writing. Uh, they did turn that into us, and then staff did reach out to GDOT regarding uh, traffic impacts. Nothing has come forth other than that? Uh, nothing that we've heard other than they will have to do a traffic impact study. Yeah. Uh, right. Yes, sir. Okay. Thank you. Quick question. Um, timeline for the GDOT uh, study. Did they indicate um, in the time in the near future or anything that would impact us from actually approving this or denying it? Uh, I'll defer that question to Mr. McLeod. No, sir. There is not. If we... If the commission approves this and they move forward, they will have to start their process at that time. Uh, once the traffic analysis study is done, uh, that study will tell if a light is required at that intersection or not. And at that time, uh, they will have to start moving forward with procurement and uh, construction of that light. And, and that, that being GIP and for it or the county? The developer. And if I may, the developer is aware of, of a, a general idea on the cost of, of that light and what the study will be. So he is prepared to to take whatever recommendation GDOT gives um, and, and proceed with those as a, as a condition. So basically, if it were to be approved tomorrow night, then he, he will be bound by what GDOT What's that cost? That's probably about 300000 Yeah. I mean, you know what that cost is? Concrete poles? No, sir, I do not know what that cost is. Based on today's rates, I, I would hate to guess what, what that is. I've been out in traffic maybe five years. I do know concrete poles, spans, and traffic cabinets and all. You're going to understand this? Well, we don't have to be concerned with that. It's going to go along with it. Quick question. Did, did we... Did anyone have an opportunity to meet with the individual who had opposition at that uh, road or location off of Valdez Road? Um, no, I believe the chairman took uh, questions from them or concerns from them, and they have all been addressed with either engineering or zoning, and obviously I'll send you not. So. Okay. I was just wondering because you know they, they were concerned about the impact on Valdez and, and so forth, and there were other options. I mean, I, I think based on my conversations with them, they were, they were wanting exactly that. Or they were wanting a recommendation from the Georgia Department of Transportation on, on, on what is necessary, what is needed, from their experience as a professional in the traffic industry. No. That's all I have. Okay, all right. Are there no further questions? Then uh, we'll move to 